Hello friends and welcome to my channel. I have wanted to replace this old, really sad looking rug in the front hall for a while and I decided to make my own rack rug to replace it. Rack rug is a rug made from old clothes and scraps of fabric. I'll be using commercial jersey weft and part of these are actually leftovers from my old projects. I'm also using some fabrics that I didn't need and some bed sheets I bought from the flea market so at least half of this rug rack will be recycled materials. This is a really good craft if you sew and you have fabrics that you didn't end up using or just leftovers from hemming or just little pieces that you didn't need. So let's get going. I decided to build my loom onto the glazed terrace. This kept the mess neatly outside the living areas. Terrace had the added benefit of having floorboards that I could fasten my loom to. This prevented my loom from moving when I bit my fabric. I bought a ready-made cotton warp that is 10 meters long. Now I just have to warp my loom. is ready and I can start weaving. I have no idea how all these colors will go together. I have this idea that I'm using one of these stretchy knit type of wefts with these racks. So I will now try different options and I hope I can figure out some pattern that will work. What I don't want is to have too much white because at that point the rug will get dirty really easily. Traditionally, rack rugs are woven with three shuttles. One could use just one, but you'll get nicer edges with three. I didn't know this at the beginning, but it is better if you throw your shuttle in from the side where the first warp yarn is down. After I heard this, I switched my weaving direction.
At this point, I can add the spanner. This tool with tiny prongs at each end helps to maintain a constant width. It is important to leave some slack to the weft before beating. But it's actually quite cold but I think the terrace is warming up when the sun is shining and besides I can always add a sweater so um, yesterday I went to the recycling center to pick up some more uh, different kinds of racks and I think these are very good because um, I got some kind of idea what I want to do now. So I think I'm going to do this kind of uh, stripes with uh, where there is white and then there is this dark gray and white. Then one that is like a variegated kind of uh, black. So. For that I'm using these. I also have this one old dyeing project that I ruined. This is completely uneven but I think I can use this. So I will make more experiments to see how these are going to work.
asked my daughter if she wanted to try Vivi. After a few minutes, I was promoted to a head designer and my daughter took up the weaver's job. The head designer's job also included filling shuttles. Just look at this teamwork. Working together practically doubled the weaving speed as filling the shuttles takes almost as much time as the weaving. My daughter took a break, I continued weaving. Today is a wonderful day and I've been weaving this for about one and a half weeks although I didn't get any weaving done last weekend because I was busy attending Harvest Festival and this far I've woven about 3.5 meters here is the mark for 3.5 meters and I have one meter to go I have to finish this rug before it gets cold and according to the weather forecast the weather is going to turn on weekend so I have two days to get this one meter done and it should be possible so let's continue <laughs>
Now I'm done. I actually wore five meters. It might be slightly long. I don't know how much this shrinks when I take it out of the room, but I can always unravel a bit after I spread it on the floor. So the weather is getting cold, so I'm not going to weave anymore. So I think I'm going to make sure that I can take everything I have here, like the heddles and the warp and wrap this around the warp beam over there. So I don't want to lose this. And then I can cut this off. Let's do that. This has been tied. I don't like how this looks at this end, but I will figure it out. So now I'll just cut this. Yay! Okay. And now release this here. And these should come off. Yes, and now I'm just taking out this. I'm going to trim it about this much and then I have to figure out how to do something or these few mistakes here at the beginning before I learn how to do this and yeah so if I'll just take a crochet hook and start pulling these warp threads through it might work and then I could just pull of these. Let's see. 